In the last three years, I've gone all in about three times. And these are the three biggest things I've learned and now ask myself when I'm considering going all in on something. Now, if I was to define going all in, it would be that you are making a decision to do something where there's no other option. So if that means quitting your full-time job and going and working business or whatever it might be, it is a decision that's made with some really high stakes. So the first time I ever did this was when I was working at Aldi, which is a supermarket, and I decided to buy a thousand dollars, which was pretty much all of my savings, worth of iPhone screens from AliExpress and try and fix phones as a side hustle. Now for me, I was going all in because it was my entire savings. It was only about a thousand bucks and I wasn't had no idea how I was gonna market it. I just knew I could fix screens, so I wanted to make money off. And so what I ended up doing was getting those in, then marketing my services on Facebook Marketplace, and I landed a couple of clients. Ended up making the thousand bucks back within the first three or four weeks, and it paid off and I bought more screens. The biggest thing I learned from this, what is the worst thing that can happen? My dad at the time said, you're gonna spend all your money, you're gonna waste it, you're not gonna be able to fix any screens. And I thought to myself, what is the worst thing that could happen? I had low expenses, I lived at home, and I wasn't worried about losing a thousand bucks because I'd spent money on stupider things in the past. So number one, what was the worst thing? The second time I went all in was when I left my nine to five at one of the big four accounting agencies working in tech and pursuing business full time. So I'd been working this job for about 18 months. I was on the path for promotion and just follow the, the corporate ladder and everyone was really happy for me. But I knew I wanted to work in business, so I ended up leaving to become a personal trainer and also work in mentoring kids with disabilities on the side, which was my first introduction to business and how to run a business and marketing and all that kind of stuff. And I knew that's what I wanted to do, but I was terrified. When I quit, nothing crazy happened. I simply got to work and I started my new life running a business. Over the next couple of months, when it eventually became profitable, I looked back and I thought, holy shit, that was scary. So the second biggest thing I learned, if it scares you, it's probably the right direction. And the third time I've gone all in recently is literally a couple of months ago when I made the decision to get out of coaching online and go into my agency full time. Now. I've run the framework by this decision, uh, what's the worst thing that can go wrong and is it scary? And what's the worst thing that can go wrong? It's, I go broke. I haven't, <laughs> I'm not scared of going broke. I've done that a couple of times. I can always bounce back and I always have. Uh, is it scary? Fucking oath, it's scary. <laughs> it's going full-time into marketing and, and automation and it's something that I love doing, which does lead me into my third point, which is, does it align with my future self? Now, my previous roles, I never felt like I could build a life that I really enjoyed whilst doing them. So the biggest thing that I'm learning through this one is, does me in three to five years time to 10 years time, could I see myself running this business or something similar to it? Now. I was able to answer that question, yes, with this, with the agency that I'm building, uh, helping the people that I'm helping. In the previous businesses uh, that I've run, especially online coaching, it wasn't something that I would think I would be doing when I'm fifth, because it's just not something that I, I see pas myself passionate about that in that time. So the three major rules I live by, <laughs> is it scary? What's the worst thing that can go wrong? And does it align with yourself? Now, they're the things that I've done, decide to go all in steps. It's not gonna be the same for everyone. However, those things, if you can consider that, and if the if you can minimize the risk, so have a, a, a good amount of savings if you're um, changing jobs and you're able to be self-aware of when you're feeling scared and how to, how to deal with that, if you could clearly see who you wanna become, the answer is obvious that it's the step that you should take. But I'm excited to be making content along the journey and have a great day, bye.